Today was Governor Cuomo's final day as New York's governor, and this afternoon he addressed the people of New York for the last time with that title and continued to deny the sexual harassment accusations against him, but also said stepping down was in the best interest of the state. Tom Negavon reports. Hello. As you probably know, I'm stepping aside as your governor. His final months spent embroiled in scandal. Allegations that COVID deaths in New York nursing homes were intentionally underreported. Questions about the safety of a bridge bearing his father's name and whether staff members worked on a lucrative book on leadership on the taxpayer's time. But in the end... I thought, he's trying to sleep with me. The governor is trying to sleep with me. It was allegations of sexual misconduct from at least 11 women. And I am inspired by all the brave women who came forward. But more importantly, I believe them. Lord, please. With impeachment proceedings moving quickly, calls growing for his resignation, the three-term Democrat announced two weeks ago that today would be his last in the state's highest office. Former top aide Melissa DeRosa responding with a series of supportive tweets today as the incoming governor announces her top aide and lead counsel, both female, three women running the executive branch of a state whose chief executive was forced out for mistreating women and still insists he didn't. The attorney general's report was designed to be a political firecracker on an explosive topic. And it worked. There was a political and media stampede. But the truth will out in time. Of that, I am confident. Tom Negavon reporting there. Again, Governor Cuomo transforms into former Governor Cuomo when the clock strikes midnight tonight. And again, Kathy Hochul will be sworn in as New York's first female governor in approximately now 56, 57 minutes or so.